Hello my class 9 students. This is the doubt in rational and irrational numbers. Lots of children don't like solving a question like this. But what we have to do is we will write the left hand side like so. And we know that it is equal to sum A and sum B. It doesn't matter what this is, but we know that this is an irrational number. So first thing we will rationalize the denominator. So if it is root 7 plus 2 in the denominator, we will multiply by root 7 minus 2. And here in the numerator also we will write root 7 minus 2. As a result, therefore, we will have in the numerator root 7 minus 2 whole square and in the denominator we will see a plus b a minus b which will give us a square minus b square so here our value of a is root 7 the value of b is 2 so it will be a square means root 7 whole square minus b square means 2 square and that is equal to on the right hand side we will keep this as it is so therefore we will have root 7 whole square minus 2 into root 7 into 2 plus 2 square which formula did we make use of over here we made use of the formula that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So our a was root 7 and b was 2. So wherever there is a, we will write root 7 and wherever there is b, we will write 2. So that's how we got the, this numerator now denominator will be root 7 multiplied by root 7 which will be 7 minus 2 squared is 4 and that is equal to a root 7 plus b in the next step we will have root 7 whole square will be root 7 into root 7 that is 7 minus 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into this will be 4 root 7 and this will be plus 4 this will give us 7 minus 4 is 3 and that is equal to a root 7 plus b we continue with our numerator 7 plus this is 4 so that will give us 11 minus 4 root 7 upon 3 and that is equal to a root 7 plus b. Now we have to compare the left hand side with the right hand side. In our right hand side we have two terms but here we have a fraction so we will split this to get two terms. So this 3 is the common denominator for each one of these. So we will write it as 11 upon 3 minus 4 root 7 upon 3. So now you can see these as two terms, right? But here our first term is a root 7. We could write root 7 term from here this side. So we will write b plus a root 7. We will write it like so. Alright. So that will give us therefore b is equal to 11 upon 3 and your a root 7 is equal to minus 4 root 7 upon 3. Okay. Now here this root 7 and this root 7 gets cancelled and therefore we will have a is equal to minus 4 upon 3. So now we have a 
therefore is minus 4 upon 3 and b is equal to 11 upon 3 and that is our answer. So I hope you have understood how we solve a question like this. There will be more coming up and also keep looking out for my online course. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.